Hey Pokemon trainers and Pokemon masters, I'm Zentorion XYZ. Today we're going to open up a build and battle deck. This is Forbidden Light and I'm going to show you guys how to build a deck if you go to a pre-release event. So if you ever go to a pre-release event, uh, this is what you're going to get. You're going to pay a, a fee to, to basically be in the event. You're going to be provided one of these build and battle decks or a pre-release kit, also uh, known as a pre-release kit. And you're going to be provided energy cards. I've laid out some energy cards here on the sides, if you guys can see. I've got enough for each hand, now for each deck. Now keep in mind that with these uh, events, you're only going to build a 40 card deck. So you don't have to worry about a 60 card deck. And like I mentioned, this is specifically for the pre-release events. So uh, here is Forbidden Light. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out. By the way, this is a great box uh, that you can store your cards in, you can store your deck in and all your stuff. So uh, good to keep. And uh, just gonna go real quick through this, what you get in these boxes. You can go ahead and pause that if you wanna read it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this real quick up here for you if you wanna read that. And also, building tips if you want to read those you're more than welcome to pause the video there. All right, so <clears throat> uh, it looks like we're gonna probably be building a psychic deck here, uh, most likely, but we'll see once we get into this. You're gonna get one of these packages, and these packages contain uh, a code card for your online TCG, which uh, get you pretty much the cards that are in this package. Uh, you also get you also get a, um, a hollow uh, stamped card. Basically, this card is stamped specifically for this build and battle. Now, you can use these uh, on your regular deck as well. You don't have to just use them in the build and battle. Uh, here's a, a, a great ball. So you get some trainers in here. Uh, Timer Ball, Sophocles, Lily, Fru Fru. Uh, then you get your... Uh, electric Pokemon so you basically we're gonna maybe be building a electric deck here uh, magnetons magna zones a uh, mysterious treasure nest ball how looker NK Malamar and Yuxi along with Mesprit and there's a code for you guys so uh, it does look like we're actually going to, I'm going to separate these real quick here. We got our trainers. Uh, we've got uh, electric Pokemon over here. Some more trainers. And then you have your psychic Pokemon. So looks like a psychic electric deck is probably going to be what we're going to be, uh, uh, you know, building here. Either way, let's see what we can get in these packs so inside of these you also get four packs and these are basically to supplement this deck uh you need a 40 card deck in order to play whoop that package only brings 23 cards so real quick let me show you this just so you guys are aware so you get 23 card evolution pack uh including a one in four unique foil promo card and, uh, and then you get four Pokemon TCG Forbidden Light booster packs and you get the code card. So there you go. These are the four packs and let's go ahead and get started with this Greninja Art pack. There's a code for you guys. Four to the front on that. We've got uh, Energy, we've got Psychic. We're gonna put that in our Psychic pile. Uh, Diggersby. Diggersby is going to go over here. Uh, we've got an Ultra Recon Squad. That's a trainer card. Okay, we've got a Heliolisk. That's electric. That's That could help help us here. Uh, Esper, Psychic. Uh, Bunnelby. So that's going to go well with that Diggersby there. A Honage. Honage is Psychic. So we're getting a lot of good cards for this deck here. We've got an Execute. And I'm going to put these off to the side. The ones that right now we're probably not going to use because uh, they're just not going to be the right types, right? We've got another mysterious treasure here. And then we have a 
Dragalgy. So Dragalgy is psychic and uh, pretty good. I mean, that that whole pack was electric psychic uh, and, um, and one leaf energy. So that's not bad. Uh, there's a code card for you guys. And here we go. We've got a leaf energy. We'll put that with our leaf energies over here. We've got ultra space. Uh, we have a uh, metal frying pan, a hoopa is psychic, honage is psychic, another noibat, gibble, gibble is a uh, fighting Pokemon, so we'll put that off to the side. We got another execute, uh, gumi is dragon, which has a fairy attack, so we'll put that off to the side. Uh, Meowstic, that's that could be you. Oh, and a Nagandal GX. So there we go. We pulled an ultra rare, my friends, out of that pack. Let's go ahead and get these uh, sleeved up. Now, one thing you do, uh, you should have with you is sleeves. Uh, you should definitely get some sleeves for your cards. Um, and if you're gonna go into a Pokemon uh, tournament or an official tournament, you're going to need uh, sleeves that are sanctioned by Pokemon. So the best way to do that is, like I showed in one of the previous videos, get an elite trainer box and get yourselves, you know, these sleeves, for example, they come in the elite trainer boxes and they're great sleeves. They're sanctioned by Pokemon. You can definitely use them there. So very useful to have. All right, we've got a, uh, Another pack here. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up. Scatterbug. Nice, nice, nice. There's a an... code card for you guys. I almost said energy. Uh, uh, there's there's your energy. Uh, ooh, a unit energy. That could prove useful. Let's um let's put this right next to those uh, those trainers. Amura. Amura is water. A fossil excavation map. That's a trainer. A scatterbug is a leaf. Another Gumi. A dewpiter is water. Flubbaber is a fairy type. Oh, there's something back there, my friends. There's an Esper, and Esper is useful for us because it looks like Psychic is going to win this. And we got a Volcanian. Oh, my goodness. There's two good, two good things here. We got a Volcanian Water Ultra Prism. That's cool for my collection because I don't have that Ultra Prism. Uh, so very, very nice. Very nice card. And a Zygarde GX Fighting Type. So that's another good card in here. And uh, we may just need to see if, if we can throw in... Zygarde because remember it's a 40 card deck you want to have as many powerful cards as you can in your deck uh, even if they if they don't particularly match your um, your deck style for example but it's a small deck so you might be able to get that Zygarde in there let's see we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see what happens guys if you are uh, if you like these more instructional videos let me know in the comments section I, I do appreciate that and make sure you hit that like button if you like the video I you know it really does help the channel and uh, and I want to continue putting out great content for you guys I want to make my content better so please by all means um, you know share there's a pie pole which is perfect because we are gonna need that for the noggin doll I believe um, actually, yes, we do. We do need that because Nagandal is a stage one. So that pie pole comes in handy for us. Uh, Mesprit, a uh, Gumi is a fighting type. A Snover is a leaf. Uh, Kibone is a fighting type. Froki is water. Krogunk is fighting type. Another Kibone, reverse hollow common, and a Zygarde. Uh, regular Zygarde fighting type as well. So I'm going to put, I'm going to take those fighting types that we've got and I'm going to um, 
kind of put them in their own pile because they could potentially help us. They could potentially help us. We'll see. We'll see. So right now, we're looking mostly, I think, at what could be an electric type slash um, psychic type deck. So we'll see what we can get here. Now, I'm going to start with psychic because we're definitely going psychic here. We're definitely going psychic. We've got a pie pole. Unfortunately, we only have one pie pole, but you know, I mean, it's 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 a risk you gotta take. So we've got pie pole and we've got Nagandal GX. So that's two cards right there. Uh, I want to see how we can throw this Zygarde in there, like I mentioned. So we'll see about that in a bit. Uh, but we'll we'll take a look at these guys over here and see what we've got. So we've got Mesprits. Uh, I know that we've got several of those. We've got several Espers. We've got a meow stick for that Esper, so that's a that's a plus, right? We've got Honage, we've got Hoopa. Uh, Hoopa we're gonna take out. We don't have anything to evolve that Hoopa. Um, and so let me see what actually what Hoopa does. Hyperspace Ring. Search your deck for up to two item cards. Reveal them and put them back in your hand. Uh, and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So actually not bad. You know what though? This Hoopa could be very useful because it will, I mean, you can put it in there as a filler to get, you know, some cards if you need to pull cards out of your deck. Uh, there's Honage, um, here we go. We don't need that one because we don't have the basic Pokemon. We've got multiple Honage. Uh, we have Esper, so that's gonna go here with Esper. We've got Malamar with Inkay, so we've got those guys there. We've got another Malamar, so that's useful. That's that's going to go in the deck most likely. Uh, Uxi, Uxi, and another Uxi, and two Mesprits. So we've got two Mesprits there. We've got these Honages. Let's see what these do. Um, Uxi says, "Memory skip 30. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokémon's attacks." And let me put this up here so you guys can see it. Uh, that Pokémon can't use that attack during your next uh, turn. Your your opponent's next turn. And then uh, Mesprit, uh, Silent Waves. If you have an Azelf in play, your opponent's Pokemon in play have no resistance. Okay, uh, so not too bad, not too bad. We'll put those off to the side, we'll see. We'll see about those, we'll, not sure about them. But uh, we've got Inkays. So Inkays and Malamar, definitely going in. Uh, Espers and a Meowstic. So uh, let's see here, Meow Stick, uh, Teleport Burst, switch your switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon, and Psychic 30 plus. Uh, this attack does 30 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your Pokemon's active Pokemon. Or active energy attack attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So if your opponent's got a bunch of energy on there, that's a good card to play. We'll go ahead and put that in there as well. And I'm going to put Poopa in. Uh, definitely gonna put Hoopa in. <clears throat> so, uh, we've got Noibats. Uh, we are going to take Noibat out. We're gonna take Noibat out, for sure. Bunnelby, we've got one Bunnelby and a Diggersby. And, uh, we'll go ahead and keep those around. We're gonna take Frufru out. Let's take a look at our electric Pokemon here. Heliolisk is not going to help us. We don't have uh the basic pokemon for that so we're we're out of luck there magnemites magnetons and magnezones that's a good uh combo there to have so we've got the whole evolution line and then uh we're gonna take a real quick look here so kibone we uh we don't have marowak so we're gonna take kibone out we don't have anything for gibble uh krogunk we're gonna take out as well and then Zygarde, uh, let's see what Zygarde does. Zygarde is 130 health, which isn't bad. Uh, Glare, flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed. Uh, so pretty good. And Calm Strike, if you have used your GX attack, this attack does 60 more damage. So not bad to, to put this in as a follow-up to one of your... Uh, GX cards. So you know what? We're going to keep. We're going to go ahead and put this one over here as well. And we could actually do, you know, fighting, uh, 
electric and all right, so let's take a look at these trainers and see what we have. So a fossil excavation map, basically this looks for an unidentified fossil. We're not going to need that, okay? Metal frying pan, the steel Pokemon this card is attached to takes, we're not using steel. Ultra space, during, uh, once, during each player's turn, this is a stadium card, uh, each player's turn, that player may search their deck for an Ultra Beast card, reveal it, and put it into their hand and shuffle the deck we have an Ultra Beast, we're definitely going to be using that. Discard a card from your hand. If you do, search your deck for Psychic or uh, Dragon Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand. So that could be useful. Uh, Ultra Recon Squad, discard up to two Ultra Beast cards from your hand. Draw three cards for each card you discard in that way. I don't know that that's going to help us very much. We only have one Ultra Beast card, so that's not really going to come in handy. We've got another Mysterious Treasure. Nest Ball, always a great card. Uh, you can go find your Pokemon. Draw three cards, definitely. Draw three cards from the bottom of the deck, definitely. Uh, great Ball, look at the top seven cards uh, of your deck. You may reveal a Pokemon you find there and put it into your hand. So definitely useful. Flip two coins and you can basically pull up a uh, evolution Pokemon for each heads that you get. So that's useful. Uh, Sophocles, discard two cards from your hand and draw four. So also useful. Draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. If it's your turn, draw cards until you have eight cards in your hand. So we're good with these trainers. I think these are gonna be uh, useful here. Uh, this unit energy will allow us to um, attach, let's see here, while this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides fighting uh, dark or fairy energy, but provides only one energy at a time. So that really doesn't do much for us because our deck isn't going to consist of, uh, of enough of those to be useful. Zygarde actually requires only two fighting energy, um, and then the rest are uh, colorless. So we've made a selection here. This is what we're going to do. We're taking out the electric Pokemon, and the reason for that is we had three different types of energy that we needed, and it was going to be a problem getting the right energies at the right time. Decided to discard that, take that out. We're gonna go fighting and psychic. And the, the what we're doing here is we're going with the Pipel, Nagandal, GX, Hoopa, Esper, Meowstic line, right? NK Malamars. Uh, we've got Zygarde, which is another GX. You know, you've got two GXs in this deck, which is pretty good. And then you've got this other Zygarde here. You've got your trainers. And what we've done is we've included uh, Bunnelby, Diggersby, Mesprit, and Ooxie. And the reason we're including these two is because of this attack right here. Uh, the ability is useless at this point because the ability basically says you have to have as of own play. Uh, you know, basically your opponent has no resistance, but we don't have an as of, so it's okay. We don't need that. But we could use Mind Splash, which is a 20 plus damage. If Yuxi is on your bench, this attack does 50 more damage. So 70 damage, not terrible. 70 HP, also not terrible. Um, the deck is a little bit weaker, but I think overall is stronger because you don't run the risk of not having the right energies at the right time. Uh, I think with this particular deck, you're going to be a little bit better off. And in reality, you know, your your high powered attacks are going to come from your GXs and hopefully you can pull those uh, at the right times. But that's what we're looking at. This is it. This is your 40 card deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. There you go. That's how you build a deck for a pre-release uh, event. Uh, I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I'm going to put a video up over here and a playlist up over here. Make sure you uh, check in on those and uh, continue watching.